Hello everyone and welcome to the October TDU Lighting Challenge. For this challenge, we're gonna be lighting one of my favorite real life creatures that exists in the world, an axolotl. I think that's how you pronounce axolotl. I looked it up a bunch, axolotl. It's a little salamander, amphibian, reptile creature that lives in the water. And it's got this crazy mane that kind of looks like an octopus and it's super cute and I've always loved it and I've always sent people gifts of this little guy. But now we're actually able to use it in the lighting challenge because we have enlisted the work of the very talented Sarah Tarr. Sarah is an Australian based modeler. And what we did is I sent her a bunch of reference of this creature as well as some aquarium footage and aquarium reference. And we put it all together and she built this incredible asset for you all. And this asset is complete with not only the models, but also all the shaders and textures you need to make this thing amazing. So how do you get your hands on it? You go to the TDU Lighting Challenge asset page, you sign up, you have everything available to you right then. This is an FBX file, so it's totally available to use in Maya, Soft Image, 3D Studio Max, Houdini, all that good stuff, Blender, whatever you want. You download the model, you download all the shaders and textures, we'll even give you a PDF that explains how to apply all the shaders as well as some variations on stuff. So if you like want the glass to be super moss covered or super clean, we've got a couple variations on there as well. And then it's up to you. Then you're gonna light it as creatively and as awesomely as you possibly can. So put this character in different situations, get up close like I did here, pull far back and maybe do like uh, the entire aquarium in a different scenario. I don't know, go crazy, be creative. Anyone who's done a TDU lighting challenge in the past knows that we love creativity and we reward it. And by rewarding it, I mean there will be a prize at the end of this. At the end of the month, everyone will post their final images. Jasmine and I will take a look and we will pick a winner and the winner will receive a $100 Amazon gift card. But that's not the big news of all of this. The big news of this is I call this the October lighting challenge, which means that we are going to be working with Sarah Tarr to build a new model and a new asset for you all every single month. So although this one is due at the end of the month, starting November 1st, we will have a brand new model for you all. So the day that you sign up for this asset library, not only will you have access to this one, you'll have access to all the previous lighting challenges we did and any future lighting challenges that we did. Because our goal, again, give you all assets that are fun to light, easy to light, and look great on your demo reel. That's right, your demo reel. You can use this stuff on your demo reel. And over the course of the month, you can post your images to the TDU lighting community page. I'll actually be doing a live work in progress critique about a week before the final submission. Uh, so I'll gather up all the lighting work that's been done up until then and I'll give some feedback to everybody, let you know uh, ways that I think that you could possibly make it better. For any TDU lighting student, keep posting your work to the TDU lighting student page. Anyone who signed up for the ultimate lighting bundle, I will be giving daily feedback there. So if you wanna work there, go for it. We can't wait to see what you all come up with. You all are the most creative process. Take a look at the lighting challenges in the past if you don't believe me. Just such, such, such cool stuff. And we can't wait to do this more and we can't wait to keep going. But first off, light up this axolotl. 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 Okay, guys. Happy lighting. Go get them.